they're essentially expressing a kind of bias about who they think should be uh, who, should, who they should like target for enforcement on transit. While Calgary police have been barred from wearing the thin blue line patch, Calgary has seen other various authority figures sporting the patch, including a peace officer at a C-train station. The officer was photographed wearing the patch at Westbrook Station on June 22nd. My friend tried to explain uh, the sort of background behind this, but he wasn't particularly interested in, in talking about it. Uh, and also, as I mentioned in the tweet, would refuse to give uh, his name and badge number uh, because he felt that uh, because this wasn't technically a transit issue. A representative with Calgary Transit tells City News that all peace officers were advised April 6th to remove all unauthorized material or patches from their uniform. They were all sent another memo clarifying the rule on June 23rd, which is the day after Gillies photographed a peace officer wearing the patch here at Westbrook Station. A security guard was also photographed wearing the patch late last week at Sled Island, a local music festival. City News reached out to True North Security for a comment on the guard's attire, but didn't receive a response by broadcast time. Sled Island releasing a statement on Monday, reading in part, quote, We were shocked and disappointed to hear that a privately contracted security guard with True North Security was displaying a thin blue line patch, a symbol associated with bigotry, racism, and hate. We will no longer be working with True North Security moving forward. This incident highlights the need for arts organizations like ours to not just hold the values that we do, but to very clearly communicate them to everyone we work with at all levels. I think it plays into wider discussions about how police uh, relate to issues such as like racism and enforcement. He says he's glad peace officers have been told they can't wear the patch, but his experience shows that citizens also have a role to play when it comes to enforcement. If they're still wearing them, then I guess it kind of leaves it up to just like civilians and transit users or who else to essentially like challenge officers about why they're doing this if it's against their own rules. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.